and welcome to my channel. My name is Jill and today I'm doing a haul of everything I bought at Disney World and Universal Studios. We just got back from our 18 day trip to Florida where we went to Universal Studios and to Disney World. You might be able to tell from my voice that I caught a little something coming home traveling of course. I have quite a few things to show. I did a fair amount of shopping. The way I kind of justified it in my mind is we haven't been since 2019 we don't know the next time that we'll be back so if i saw any merchandise that i loved and had to have i bought it because if you've been to disney world you know that the turnover with their merchandise collections is very quick and sometimes you'll see something in one store and think no i'll just wait and see if i see that tomorrow at hollywood studios you don't see it in any stores there and then when you go back where you were originally it's gone so my philosophy for this trip was if i see something and i like it i'm going to buy it i didn't follow that two times and i almost missed out on the things that i wanted i've tried to organize everything a little bit into categories but I'm going to start off with what I bought at Universal Studios. I saw this almost right away when we got there. And this is Universal Studios mug. I actually saw this, um, I think on YouTube before I went and I saw it and knew that it was the mug that I was going to buy. I actually don't have any mugs from my previous trips to Universal Studios that aren't Harry Potter themed. So I really liked how this one had different rides on it and I just really like the kind of retro colors of it. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got that. The next thing I got at Universal Studios, it was actually the last weekend of Mardi Gras when we were there, and we've never been for Mardi Gras in the past, so I was really excited to see the parade and all the decorations. So they actually had the tribute store set up with Mardi Gras merchandise, and it was all 75% off. I got this t-shirt, so it just says, Mardi Gras and it has the year 2023 on it. It's so bright and colorful. It was originally $30 and I paid like $9.50 for it. So one thing for this trip, my mom and I had kind of decided, we've never gotten into the whole pin collecting at the theme parks, but we thought we're gonna start a pin collection. I was going to get a Mardi Gras pin and they actually didn't have any. They only had sets of like five or six. So I'm so glad that I found this t-shirt so that I could have something to remember being there for Mardi Gras. Speaking of pins, we started our pin journey at Universal Studios. My original plan for the trip was to get a pin every day for whatever my favorite thing we did that day was. I didn't end up following that because there weren't pins. Like some of the new attractions even, you could not find a pin. Like I found that they didn't have specific merchandise for rides and attractions and things like that. We kind of cut our pin journey a little bit short, but I got a fair amount. And at Universal, I did get two pins for the two days that we were there. So the first day, we woke up early and we went to Rope Drop, Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. This is the only pin that they had for it. And it doesn't even say the name of the ride. It just has Hagrid on his motorbike at the top there and then all the magical creatures. It's a little bit dark. Like it's not the prettiest pin, but I do like it. That's the pin I got for day one at Universal. And this was $8. So for day two at Universal, I did ride Velocicoaster. I did vlog the whole trip. So if you haven't seen those, they've all been posted on my channel. So you can go watch those as well. But I did Velocicoaster by myself. First thing in the morning, walked right on. So I got the Velocicoaster pin. I lost the back in one of these bags somewhere. So I have to find that, but I do really like this pin. I like that it says um, Jurassic World, but also it says Universal Orlando Resort. Yeah, on the bottom. There's my Velocicoaster pin to prove that I conquered <laughs> the ride. And I do like that it has the roller coaster in the back as well. We weren't off to a bad start with pins at Universal, but when we get to the Disney portion, you'll see that I didn't get as many. That is actually everything that I bought at Universal. So when we left Universal, we went over to the outlets and we went shopping at Target and at the mall at Millennia before we went over to Pop Century. So I did a little bit of shopping there. The first thing at Target, I got a 
few food items that I brought home with me. So the first thing, I got these gummy bears. I follow Andy Heron from Big Brother on Twitter and I love him. And I saw like right before we went, he posted that these are the best gummy bears and he loves gummy candy and so do I. I had to get them. I have not tried them yet. So I don't know if they're the best, but I'm really excited to try these. So I had to pick those up. The next thing I got is some Chex Mix. Chex Mix is my favorite snack. They used to sell it in Canada. They don't anymore. This is a small bag that I actually picked up at the airport because the big bag I bought at Target, I ate while I was there. So I did pick up another bag because I had to bring some home with me. And the final food item I got at Target, I love Pop-Tarts. <laughs> and in the US, they have so many interesting flavors that we don't have here in Canada. So I picked one to bring back. It's the Eggo Frosted Maple Flavor, which is funny that in Canada, we don't have a maple flavor. I love Eggos and I love of pop tarts so they're combined in one and i'm very excited to see what those taste like so that's kind of what i got at target the next thing like i said we went to the mall and the main thing i wanted to get there i wanted to go to forever 21 to get socks because we don't have a forever 21 here anymore they're the only socks that fit me really well so i wanted to stock up on my socks I got these basic ones, big combo pack. It was like $6 for these five pairs. Really needed those, that's great. The next ones I got are these little corgi ones. These ones were $2. So I also got these boba tea ones, which were also $2. I got these Paul Frank ones, which say like 90s on them. And for some reason, these ones were $3. They're extra special, I guess. And the last ones I got are these butterfly ones and they have little ruffles at the top and these ones were also $3. So the next stop that we did was the outlets. The main thing I wanted to go to was the Disney Character Warehouse which is the Disney Parks outlet. I like to go there before we go into the Disney Parks because sometimes they have merchandise that they're still selling in the parks. So if you see something you like, you can get it for much cheaper than in the parks. First thing I got is this long sleeve t-shirt and it has Cusco on it. I think The Emperor's New Groove is one of the best Disney movies. I was obsessed with it when I was younger. We actually watched it again before we went and it just, it holds up. It's such a good movie and it's kind of like this yellow kind of like tie-dye acid wash print and I really like it because it was perfect for some of the chillier nights there because it's not like a hoodie or a sweatshirt it's just a t-shirt material but it has the long sleeves and I can't remember how much that was the next thing I got is this sweater it's a fleece quarter zip cropped sweater and it has Marie on it it's so cute I love the colors. It's very warm fleece, perfect for Canada winters, and has pattern all down the sleeves, on the back as well, the Eiffel Tower. So I was so excited when I found it there. It was the last one. It was originally $65 and I paid $25. That was a great find for me. The last thing I got at the outlets is a pin. This is from the Pixar Pride Collection. So it says Pixar animation and it has one of the green aliens, but it's rainbow and it spins. I think this is a really, really nice pin. I love Toy Story. It's my favorite Pixar movie. And this pin was originally $18 and I got it for $4. I just thought that was really cute. So now I'll move on to what I bought when we finally got to Disney World. First thing, the most important thing, we had ordered our Magic Band Plus before we got there. So they were waiting for us when we checked in. This is the one that I got. It had the castle right in the middle there. It has Mickey, Pluto, and Minnie down one side, and then Chip and Dale, Daisy, and Donald, and Goofy down the other. I really loved having the Magic Band Plus. I went back and forth between wanting to get the Plus or just a regular one because they are more expensive. We got a deal on it for ordering before we went. I think it was $35. I really liked it. I liked seeing the statues and like waving to them and having them interact. It would light up on certain rides during the fireworks. I thought it was really cool. So I'm glad that we went with the Magic Band Plus and I really loved the design of mine and the purple color kind of went with the 100th celebration that was going on at the time as well. I'll go over the pins first. So the first one I got is 
for Pop Century, which is where we stayed. We love Pop Century, so I'm really happy to have a pin. It just says to the max with Mickey and Goofy. And it says Pop Century down in this corner right here. And of course, with Disney prices, it just says silver. I think silver was about $12. I can't quite remember, but I feel like that feels right to me. So yeah, that was my Pop Century pin. The next one I got is for Tron Light Cycle Run. We rode that for the first time this trip. It's so much fun. I think we rode it three times while we were there. They had a few pins actually for Tron. They had like four or five that you could pick from. So this is the one that I went with. It says Tron Light Cycle Run and it has someone riding on the bike and like it's cut out here. It's just on the backing. And this one was also $12. The next one I got was for Rise of the Resistance. This pin was so hard to find. I looked for probably 10 days before I actually found it in a random store that I had already looked at the week before and it wasn't there. I had asked uh, cast members, no one knew if there was a Rise of the Resistance pin. So this is what it looks like. I think it's really cool so I'm glad that we finally found it. This one actually doesn't even have what the price was, like doesn't say a color, nothing. I think it was probably around $12 as well so that one's very cool. We'd never ridden Rise of the Resistance before. It's nice to have something to remember the first time we did it. The next one is for the Skyliner and staying at Pop Century we did have the Skyliner station right there so we've never had the Skyliner before, we've never ridden on it before. We did a Skyliner crawl so I wanted to get a Skyliner pin and it says on the way to fun and the little Skyliner bucket actually moves back and forth. I think the colors are really pretty and this one I think was 14 but I'm so glad that I did find a Skyliner pin. The next one is for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. That ride is amazing. This was our first time riding it. I think we did it five times. It's my new favorite ride ever. It's just so great. So I finally found this. I also had to look everywhere for this. It just says Guardians of the Galaxy and has like the ship that is outside of the ride. It doesn't even say Cosmic Rewind, so it's not even like for the ride. It's just Guardians of the Galaxy. This one was also $12. And the final pin that I got is actually from Gideon's. We'd never had a Gideon's cookie before, so we went one morning and waited in the line, and I had to get this pin, their logo of the crystal ball with the G. I actually think this one was like $16 maybe? Unpopular opinion. I didn't think the cookie was that great. We got the original chocolate chip. It was fine, but it was kind of just the cookie. So I bought this pin before we had tried the cookie, obviously, because I bought it at the same time. And I kind of wish I hadn't bought it because didn't love it. I honestly think that the Costco cookies are better than the Gideon's cookies, I'm sorry. But this is something to remember the first time that we had it. I did get the peanut butter cold brew as well that was delicious one of the best coffees i've ever had so we'll just say this is to remember that coffee buy <laughs> those are all the pins i got next i will move on to the shirts that i bought so before we went i knew that i was going to want to go to uniqlo to buy some of their disney shirts first one i got and probably my favorite is this avengers shirt so it says the avengers on the front and on the back it has some of the Avengers. I wish that Black Widow was on it. She's my favorite, but I love the uh, writing on the front and I love shirts that have things on the back. So it's just interesting. So I got that one. I think that was $25. And the next one I got was also $25. Another Marvel one. This one just has Spider-Man on the front pocket and it's just a white t-shirt. These two are the men's uh, collection, but I kind of like those because they're a little bit looser and baggier. So yeah, that's just my Spider-Man one. Again, $25. And the last one I got is from the women's collection and it's a 101 Dalmatians. On the front, it says 101% fun. And then on the back, it has 101 Dalmatians with the Dalmatians. And this one was originally 25 and it was on sale for $20. So then I did get some t-shirts within the parks as well. This is one that I saw one of the first days we were there and not thinking, I was like, 
I'll just get that some other time. Like I'm unsure about it. I like it, but we'll see what else there is. And then for like nine days, could not find it anywhere and finally stumbled upon it at Animal Kingdom. It's this really pretty blue color. The front has Mickey on the pocket. And then on the back, we have all the classic characters. I love that it says Walt Disney World on the bottom as well. And I just think it's such a bright, fun color imprint. So I'm so glad I did finally find that. I'm not sure how much that one was, maybe 30 or something. The next one I got is actually a kid's t-shirt. So I got it in an extra large. I saw this one before I went and I knew I had to find it. I only saw it in one store at Hollywood Studios and as soon as I saw it, I wasn't making that mistake again and I scooped it up and it's a Four Town t-shirt. I love the movie Turning Red. I love Four Town. I love that this looks like a tour t-shirt with like their tour on the back from 2002. I love this t-shirt so I'm so happy I got that. And this one, I wore this and I totally forgot to take the tag off so this one was $27. The next two shirts I got are spirit jerseys. I have a couple of spirit jerseys already. I love them. So I knew I was going to get at least one, but I actually ended up getting two. The first one I got is a Star Wars spirit jersey and it's black. On the front, it has Grogu and it says, choose your path, Star Wars. Oh, and the Mandalorian is on there as well. And I like how it has the little stripes on the sleeves and on the back it says, choose your path in blue and green. I really like that one. Also on the front, it does say Star Wars down on the side there. Yeah, I saw this one again. I saw this one in our resort the very first day I was there. I didn't get it and then it was gone by the next day and it came back maybe a week later and as soon as I saw it, I scooped it up. So I really love that one. I'm glad I did end up finding it. The second one was part of a new collection that came out while we were there. It's like pastel pink into purple and it has characters on it. it has Dumbo at the front there and it has like the mad tea party the hippo from it's a small world at the bottom and then this is more like your classic spirit jersey where it says Walt Disney World across the back there and then it has the castle Mickey and Minnie in the teacups Tinkerbell yeah this just is like quintessential Disney to me so I had to get that. My mom actually got the backpack from this collection as well. It's by an artist that I actually follow on Instagram. I can't remember his name. I'll put it on the screen here, but I loved the whole collection. It was really pretty. Final shirt that I got is actually, I got it at Boathouse at Disney Springs. It's not like a Disney t-shirt or anything. It's a Simply Southern t-shirt and it's just this blue tie-dye. It has the Simply Southern logo on the front, but on the back it has this golden retriever. I have two golden retrievers, so this made me think of them and I just really liked that shirt, so I had to get that. I forgot to mention the spirit jerseys I think are $75 for both of those and this t-shirt was $35. So the next thing I got, I got two hats. The first hat I had seen before I went and I knew I wanted to get it. I only saw it in one store. This is like the theme of the trip. Things were only available at like one select place. I found it at the creation shop in Epcot and it's this Marvel hat and it's from their pride collection. So it says Marvel and then it has the infinity stone symbols on the back and I love this hat. I'm so happy I found it. It was one of the only things I knew I wanted to get when I was there. So I'm really happy that I found that. I think it was like $26, something like that. The other one I got, we went to Homecoming for dinner one night. I loved it. We all loved it. It was one of the best meals I've probably ever had. I had the mac and cheese and it was delicious. So I actually bought a hat when we were there that says Chef Art Smith Homecoming and it's just a nice gray color. So that's something to remember the restaurant by. I think this one was also about $27. Next I have some glassware, I guess we'll call it. I actually didn't get any mugs while I was there. I found that the mugs, nothing really called to me. I have so many mugs that I really didn't need another one and I knew I had already gotten that Universal Studios one. I didn't get a mug, but we ate and drank around the World Showcase and in doing so at the Mexico Pavilion, they had a margarita and it came in this souvenir cup. The name of the restaurant there, it says Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival at the top, which I love, and then it just has flowers all around it. It's plastic as well, which is really great. 
I guess technically we bought that. We paid for the margarita, which was not a good margarita. <laughs> One of the worst drinks I've ever had, actually. It was made with mezcal, which I've never had, and apparently I don't like that. I only like tequila, so it was worth it for the cup. And then the other one I got, we did the garden graze at the Flower and Garden Festival. So when we completed it, you got some lime dole whip in this little cup. And it says Garden Grays, and it says the International Flower and Garden Festival. So they're kind of similar in shape so that when my mom and I have margaritas, we can each have one in our cups. So I thought those were kind of cute. The other cup that I got is from Wine Bar George, and it's a corksicle. This is what it looks like. It says corksicle on the side. It's kind of like a wood barrel, and it says Wine Bar George. So basically, if you buy one of these cups, you get a frozen drink from the basket for free. So my mom and I each got one of these, and I think they're about $40, but it is corksicle, keeps drinks hot and cold for hours. So I'm very excited to have that. The last drinkware thing I got is this koozie from Pop Century. It says Pop Century. It's like a snap bracelet, so you just wrap it around your can and it's tie-dye. I love this. I saw that they were selling it at the pool bar and I knew I had to have one. Next I have a few jewelry items. So the first thing is I got a Pandora charm. I got this at Magic Kingdom. It's one of the park exclusives. The Tower of Terror on this side with some like sparkles around it and on the other side it has the logo for the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Tower of Terror is one of my favorite rides, so when I saw that they had a charm for it, I knew I had to get it. And I think that one was 85, 75 or 85. And then I did get this Kendra Scott necklace. It's just the classic design. It's rose gold and the white stone in the middle. And this was 75. And the last jewelry thing, I guess I actually got these at the Kate Spade outlet. They were on sale for $14. They're a nice like black deep blue color, very sparkly. Yeah, and I, I love those. I think they're really pretty. Next, I have some artwork that I got. So the first thing, we're going to put it in our office. It is this print. I absolutely love it. It's the France Pavilion. I love it because it looks like a street just in France, but it's actually the pavilion and it says down at the bottom that it is the France Pavilion. So I absolutely love that. It's by Larry Dotson and this was $35. So we're gonna get that framed to put in our office. The next thing I got <laughs> is the one souvenir I knew for sure I was going to get when we were there. And this is from Main Street Magic Kingdom. There's artists there that do silhouette cut out pictures of you, your kids, your whole family, but he can also do pictures of pictures. So I took a picture of my dog Archie and he cut out this silhouette of him and I think it's so cute. It was only $13 and you actually get both the left facing and the right facing. I just think it's so cute. So I can't wait to get that framed. I have to pick which side I like better and it does say Walt Disney World at the bottom there and I just think that is the cutest souvenir and he was so nice. His name was Tim. He was from North Carolina. He's so talented. It literally took probably like not even 10 minutes for him to cut that out. <laughs> like it's just crazy. And now I'll just wrap up with the few little bits and bobs that are left. The first thing is this Forky pen. Like I said, I love Toy Story. I love Forky. I know people find him annoying, but I love him. This was $13. It's literally a pen and it's Forky. So he's just gonna live on my desk forever and I love him. <laughs> The other thing I got is this notebook. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, I need to have that. I love, it has these little dividers and it's Dumbo, Chewy, Nemo, and Spider-Man, which are four of my favorite characters. So I just had to have that. It's lined, perfect for work. This is part of the 100 collection and this was $20. The next thing is this watch strap for my Apple watch. It just has some of the animal characters on there. I think it's so cute. This was $37. I've never had a watch other than the ones that they sell at Apple, so I am I was so excited when I saw that one. I think it's really adorable. And the final thing I got, I did not need, but I could not leave it there. 
it's Panda May. Like I said, I love turning red. It's one of my favorites. And I saw this. <laughs> Do you see how big this is? I had to bring this home on the airplane with me. It was my uncle's carry-on item. Um, it was $35 and I just love it. Look at her little tail. It's so soft and I really like that it's like structured. Like she can sit on my bed and stand upright but she's also just so soft. So that's the last thing that I got. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't watched the vlogs from the trip, I will link the playlist down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.